Okay, so your writing task today is to create a box it up plan based on um, a description of the BFG. So in your packs, you should have a photo of the BFG and that should help you. Then this is what your, this is what your bit box it up plan looks like. So within our box it up plan, it is literally you, you create the boxes to make it really clear and simple. This is what I'm going to include in one paragraph. This is what I'm going to include in the other paragraph. And obviously we group information together in paragraphs. So my first um, box, I'm going to describe his ears and his height. Now something that we like to do to engage the reader is to not give away straight away who the character is that we're describing and to give away clues. Now in your packs, you should have pages photocopied from this book which is our descriptosaurus and we use these in class to help us find some really really interesting adjectives nouns verbs and different phrases that we can actually steal to use for our writing to make our writing really really interesting something else you've got in your pack to help you is your sound map and that's to help you with your spelling and sounding out of words. But obviously when we're using the descriptor stories, you can just copy words and phrases. And the box it up plan is just for writing words, phrases and bullet points. You haven't got to write in full sentences. So I've had a little look through my Descriptosaurus, the pages that I've got, and I'm going to start by describing his height. And I'm just going to write down some key vocabulary in this box here to describe his height. Okay, so one word that I'm going to use, I'm going to use stooped. And I like that word because it just it creates a picture of exactly how tall he is and what he has to do to make um, to make well, to move around really, or to get to Sophie. Another word that I really liked is lanky. And another word I really liked is enormous. Now we're not going to write loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of words in here. And the other thing we're not going to do is we're not going to contradict ourselves. So legs like tree trunks. Helps me, that's a nice phrase that I've taken from my Descriptosaurus. Now, something else that I read that I liked was spindly arms and legs. Now, this is one of those phrases that would contradict what I've just said here. I've said he's enormous, and I've said he's got legs like tree trunks. If I then say he's got spindly arms and legs, that doesn't really work because I've just said that he's got huge tree trunk legs. I could say long spindly arms because... I haven't actually described his arms yet. Long, spindly arms. Or I could take one of my vocabulary words from over here and rather than using long, I could use lanky, spindly arms. Something else to be aware of is don't use two adjectives in a sentence that mean the same. So if I was going to describe the BFG's um, cheeks, um, I might describe them as red or rosy or crimson. But obviously, two words can mean the same thing. So red and crimson could mean, uh, mean the same. So rather than using them both, I would just choose one that is the best one. So that is how you can complete your whole um, box it up plan. You've got describing his ears, so key vocabulary and then phrases from that and then describing his voice, describing his personality. Obviously, you can look online as well at other words and phrases to help you. There's lots of online thesauruses to help you find different words to help you.